Hey, this is Mikko and we're gonna look at how to add text, how to edit your text in Procreate and how to add more fonts if the library that the Procreate provided isn't enough for you if or if there's something specific that you're looking for. So now that we have the Procreate app opened up, we'll go into this tool icon and click add and then add text. And here you can write whatever you want. Let's add. Okay, and then you can edit your style. And here are all the kind of like more complex options on what you can do with the font. So you can see that the size affects the size, but to also adjust the area where the text appears, you have these little handles on left and right of the text box. And those will allow you to expand it horizontally. There is no vertical expansion. You will do just that by adjusting the size or other settings of the text. So here are all the items where you can adjust your text. This, the first one adjusts the size. And as you can see, it automatically adds more vertical space there. But to add more horizontal space, you can use these horizontal handlebars on the a box of text. So that's really handy. I think the most people are gonna have trouble like seeing the difference between kerning and tracking. And that's a typography term. Um, to put it simply, kerning is a letter spacing in a word but tracking is the spacing of an entire block of text. So let's say that you have a whole sentence that has semicolons or like other marks, it will add adjust the spacing of all of those items at once. And leading is the vertical distance between rows or lines in your text. And baseline is pretty much self apparent from how you can see it works. And on the right, you can add this stroke effect or underscore or both or neither. And remember that you can copy the same word and have multiple versions of these effects if you want to make something more complex. And of course, the color is also very important. And for color, you can just hit the color icon in this screen and it will automatically change the color to whatever you choose. A few more things about layers. If we exit this uh, type menu and open the layers, you can see that the layer has this A symbol. That means that once you have the layer selected, you can go back to the edit mode by just double tapping on the text and then you can change whatever you want. And the cool thing about this layer is that unlike all other Procreate layers, this one doesn't get automatically cropped if you like pull it to the side of screen and then pull it back. You can see that the text is still there. It will stay there until you rasterize the layer. And the way you rasterize the layer is you go to the layer itself, open the settings, and here you see rasterize under edit text. The way that text rasterizes will also happen if you do um, transform and for example hit warp and this has already rasterized the entire layer. So if I now go back and look at the layer, the A symbol is gone. So be mindful of this when you want to adjust your layer because you might lose the text if you want to edit it later on. If you want to add cool stuff like painting or gradients over your text and keep the editing function of the text itself, here's a neat trick that you can do is that you add a new layer and set that as a clipping mask. Now you can do kind of like raster graphics effects on top of your text, but if you go back to your text, and double click it, you can still edit it. You can always return to the text edit mode by hitting the keyboard symbol on the left of the edit screen. And here we have more text. And as you can see, that clipping mask stuff that I drew there is still there.
So that is how you add text and how you edit it. But what if I want to use a font that is not in this library and I want to download a new font to my iPad and add it here. So for that to work, uh, let's go into Google Fonts. So Google Fonts are handy because they will automatically work on all websites. And if you have any like visual materials that contain text, it's nice to use a font that is compatible or similar to the website itself. So here I found the font that I usually use in these videos, which is Monteserrat. And from here I usually use extra bold. So let's go to the top right corner and select this font. And now that it's selected, I will just download it with this down arrow button here. And because there are multiple fonts in this package, it will save it as a zip file. And I will save it quickly into my files. And now I'm going to go to the files folder and I'm going to find the font that I just downloaded, Monteserrat, here. Now I am opening the zip file in this iZip Pro because that's the zip file app that I use, but there are many like it. This one has a free version too, but I have bought the paid version. And then I just unzip all the files. The files unzipped into the iZip Pro folder and here are all the fonts. So I'm just looking at the names here and I'm trying to find the extra bold. So this is the file that I want to add. Monteserrat extra bold. So I select it and then share. And from the share menu, I add it to Procreate. And now when I go to Procreate and open the fonts, they are arranged in alphabetical order. So I will quickly find that the Monteserrat is here now. And now we have Burly driving in a font that I can use in a video. For what reason? Nobody can know. But this saves so much time for me because now I don't have to use Over, which has a paid subscription. I can do everything in Procreate, including the thumbnail of this video. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope this has been helpful. If there's anything more that you'd like to know, ask me in the questions below. I'm Mikko and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!